They're shouting the monks. <coughs> Oops. Uh, too bad. This one is blocked out for some reason. Okay. This one was during our grand finale. I think this, I mean, for most trips to Bhutan, they would consider this as the grand finale. And it is the hike up to this place called the Tiger's Nest Monastery, or uh, otherwise known as Tatsang Lakhang. <coughs> so this place is actually located 3,100 meters from sea level. Um, so it's a bit hard to climb, especially for those who are not used to the altitude, because the altitude alone would actually um, prevent some people from climbing it as fast as they would under ordinary circumstances. <laughs> okay, so this is supposed to be a rock with uh, some Sanskrit uh, inscribed. Is it? Okay. Yeah, so <laughs> this is near the bottom while we were only starting our, our trip, our climb. So this was somewhere in the middle. You can see some prayer flags over there. Um, the way that the Bhutanese believe is that when the wind blasts on the prayer flags, it magnifies the prayer across four miles. Okay, so this is the, the Taksang Lakhang itself. Um, okay, to get here actually, you have to climb about an hour into the into a place where you can find a cafeteria that serves only vegetarian food. From there, it's only the midpoint. From there, you have to climb for another hour um, till you reach this spot. Climb up. There are plenty of climb ups and downs, so it's a bit it's a bit difficult for those who are not used to hiking or trekking. So, I mean. There's also a Bhutanese myth, myth about how this particular um, temple came to be located, monastery came to be located there. Uh, what they said was um, this, one of the spiritual leaders in, in Bhutan from Tibet, he was actually um, trying to find where, where am I supposed to go in order to spread Buddhism. So he rode on the back of a tigress and the tigress left and reach this spot and he decided to build this thing over there um, for those of you who have been to this place um, there's also an amazing story this this place actually burned down a couple of years ago and and for those who have actually climbed we can understand how hard it is to climb the place and they actually rebuilt it by creating some cable cars from down to up and they hired a lot of um, construction workers to recreate the monastery. So this another okay. So this another view of the hive. Okay, I don't have any pictures inside the monas monastery because um, you have to leave your um, cameras inside, so you, you are not allowed to take pictures there. But inside, um, as I've said, you can find a lot of prayer halls containing the different bodhisattvas, containing the different buddhas. In in uh, in Buddhism. Okay, so this is also on the coin. Okay, so this is another view. This is actually from the cafeteria. Um, there's a cafeteria here, there. They serve only vegetarian food because of the proximity of, of the place to the to the tiger's nest monastery. Okay, another view. Okay. So we went. We next went to this place. This is called um, Chimilakhang. Temple-wise, this is recognized as the oldest temple in Bhutan, supposed to be over a thousand years old. Um, this is also a very important temple for Bhutan. Inside, they actually contain some precious relics, some precious historical relics, mostly um, ancient statues, ancient figurines. Uh, of, of the Buddha and the other uh, figures in Buddhism which you can find inside. There's also supposed to be an, an orange tree inside. We, we did see the orange tree which is supposed to be evergreen, blooming with, with orange oranges, actual oranges. 
even during winter. So we went during winter and indeed there was an orange there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is a Paro town. This is, um, in the main square there, there, there was a large uh, prayer wheel. Um, so this is the, the old lady um, trying to circumnavigate the, the prayer wheel and, and chanting mantras and also carrying a bag of bread. <laughs> <laughs> 